Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Okami. We obtained a feed bag with seeds in it. Freshly roasted seeds that seed-loving animals can't resist. Hey, why you little devil? <laughs> Look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait, this is animal food! Well, I'm a wolf. Okay. We can get here, like, let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good might come out of using it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner. But what the heck? Let's make it accepted. So why not? He's just like, come on. Well, okay, whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press the start button to open the fan menu, which we've been doing. There are other things you can do. The fan menu is your key to a successful adventure. I guess. That was health, by the way. Now, there are sparrows over here. We can feed them. Do we just have to use our feed bag? This will gain us praise. And uh, this seed actually just does like a full revolution of us feeding the animal in what looks to me like a stylized dog bowl. So, uh, it'll gain us praise and we'll be able to tell what animals we fed because of the hearts around them. So, we will feed uh, animals as we go. That's, although getting feed bags, uh, we're gonna have to wait until we complete some stuff in here. Really? We can jump up here. There we go. Ow! Hey. I want in there, though. Alright, we got a stray bead. And there's a chest up here. We can slash. And get glass beads. Oh, uh, also, there are things we could dig up in this game, and there's one right over here. The, the tutorial for this is a, a lot later, but... But I will be getting these things as I go. So now down to the village. There is stuff we can do all over the village. First and foremost, uh... Okay, these little golden things, these are the things that we're digging up, by the way. They show up really well at night, but we know where they are, so... There's also treasure chest back here. The dragonfly bead. And now the people in the village are, are running around and stuff. Alright. And there's actually something we could do back at that intersection, but uh, I'm not interested at the moment. Now, I think right in the middle of here is Coral Fragment. Nothing to eat here. Fine. There's stuff to eat all over the village. I mean, it's not. Um, so that's the orange house, for future reference. Uh, let's go talk to this woman. She, she, oh, you know what, actually, before we do that. Exorcism slip S. Alright, 
A white wolf. Now that's a rare sight. Yeah. Better be careful, dear. <laughs> There's a monster that's been attacking the village. Okay. Do you even know who you're talking to, Granny? All right, Grandma. Oh, this is Mrs. Orange. This is the elder's wife. Well, I'd better get back to my work. Mumble, mumble. We talked to her again. Ah, uh, she will complain about her laundry pole. Or her drying pole. And, uh, whatever she shall do, well, it's gonna be this, essentially. There we go! She's got a drag pole back. Where did that come from? What, are you kidding? But now she will complain that the sun isn't close enough. I swear, this is how grateful she is. The sun seems to be so far away these days. Like it didn't get farther away. So there we go. Now the sun's right, right next door. <laughs> Will the miracles never cease? Well, uh, not when you got a god running around. So she will make us cherry cakes. But we get praise, and that's what's really important about it. All right. Really? I know I can slash them. There we go. Got them both at once, that's nice. All right. Now there's another hidden chest. Well, hidden chest. There's a less noticeable chest. Gotta watch it, cause there it is. These aren't the easiest thing in the world to get to sometimes. So we got a bale of rice, which is nice. All right. Let's see. What else is there to do in the village? Oh, there is a hidden treasure buried in the corner of this turnip field. There it is. And it's a dragonfly bead. Wait. Yeah, she, she'll come after us, so you got to watch that. She hates when you dig in her field. All right, we talked to this kid. Now that's just plain weird. Sure looks like a weak little bugger. Think you could beat my dog? Hayabusha? Busha? Well, listen to this. There's this field my mama tends to. You see? Managed to dig up nine turnips in a row. Even though my mama was chasing him around. Trying to slug him. So you, what you have to do is, this is a challenge to dig up all ten turnips in the field without getting slugged. Which is actually reasonably easy for us because of our celestial brush skills. So what you want to do is we get one for free. Uh oh. And then you you could just ink her up. Oh, we can't. We missed. There we go. She's pretty astute about, you know, trying to beat us up. Whoa! Man, I'm completely freaking out here. Stop doing that, lady. 
I will ink you. Like a squid. Okay, what do we got? Five? Kinda want her to come over here. It's so mean, I mean, completely cheating and being evil. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. Ugh. I hate the camera angle here. Okay. I think we got it. Now this one we have to pick up with, uh... With Triangle to take back to the kid. And he'll flip out. Okay, oddly shaped turnip. <laughs> That's the oddly shaped turnip I have bushes and I've been looking for. That means now I don't know why he knew that it was the tenth one. And why it's always the tenth one. Yes, I am the better canine, and don't forget it. So more praise for us. And now that lady has no reason to beat us up. Okay, now if we go back up to this intersection, uh, there's a, an unlimited battle you can fight over and over for money. The whole point is to earn praise by doing it in under... Uh, in under 12 seconds. Just concentrate, look hard, you see, right behind you now. They will display their butt to you. We can also get, we can get demon fangs from them during this battle. We get ink pots, I mean. Oh, he was, oh, he was dying. All right. And now he'll tell you uh, humans are not witness to such battles. But I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 28 seconds. And uh, you, like, oh, heavens above. I, I did not mean to do that. What happens if I bite him? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, over and over, you just beat the crap out of these guys. As long as it doesn't take you more than 12 seconds to kill them. Or as long as it takes you more than 12 seconds to kill them. You can do it over and over. Chinese cabbage! Oh, our ink pot went away. There we go. And we'll get Yen based on, I mean, you know. Um, I actually ended up, uh, it took me a long time to get this, uh, to get this right. And essentially what you need to do is, uh, you really need to do that. I mean, like, that's the way you kill them all in a decent amount of time. Is you really gotta slash them all at once. I think that probably did it. So that will get us praise. And Nine seconds! That's uh, one better than I did. I've chosen the path of Buddha, but if you send you and I sense another power, and I see the path you've chosen, is also a path of truth. And we'll get praise. There we go. See? Uh, so, 
I why well, I, I thought about grinding at that battle, but uh, I believe that there's a grinding opportunity past the village. So uh, I think we have actually done um, almost everything we can without uh, the plot line continuing. So we will continue the plot line now, and when we come back, uh, we will be dealing with the. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever the next thing is. I don't know exactly what its proper title in the game is. But, uh, I'll see you guys for that, and bye, everybody.